Why does every vlog have to start this way, little whiny baby? It is Friday, October 2nd. It was a game stream day, so I wasn't going to be vlogging today at all, but here we are. I played Super Mario Sunshine for the first time ever. And boy, that game is hard. I was like kind of glad to be done by the end of it. Like it's fun, but I was stressing. I was stressing. I didn't even get that many stars slash shines. So now I need to unwind. I'm going to do some decorating. So one of my pet peeves is when adults make a big deal out of their birthday on social media. But here I am. <laughs> I mean, really, I'm not excited because it's my birthday. I'm excited because of the decorations. <laughs> So I'm having some friends over this weekend, just people from my social bubble, nothing huge, nothing crazy, cause you know, COVID. Speaking of which, I got my test result back an hour and a half ago. I don't have COVID, the test is negative. So that came just in the nick of time. I mean, I didn't think I had it and I don't have any symptoms anymore now. Like between the time I got tested, which was Monday and now it just it went away. But better safe than sorry and yeah. This celebration is also kind of Christian's birthday. We both turned 30. Well, I say turned, like it's in the past. I'm still 29 right now. <laughs> we both turned 30 this year. His birthday was in April and we didn't celebrate or anything because with our friend group, we just look for any excuse to hang out. But then with COVID, we haven't been hanging out as much. And then there was a two month period where we didn't see each other at all. And Christian's birthday fell in that period. So this is kind of also his birthday. We'll celebrate together. And we're gonna be dressing up. The theme is Chateau. <laughs> so <laughs> I have some decorations, not a whole lot though, but that's fine. <laughs> I don't really want it to feel birthday-ish. I want it to feel chateau. I do have these jumbo 30 balloons. Actually, the zero popped. And so I had to buy a replacement one. So first of all, okay, it's kind of creepy with my hair sitting there. <laughs> I got some more battery operated candles. There's three here, three there. They're not gonna stay arranged like this. And then I have two more up here. There's two down here, but those we already had. The rest of them are new additions. And what else do we have? What else do we have? Let me show you. I kind of want to go to the dollar store and get some flowers for table centerpiece stuff, which is fake ones. So I could go do that right now. It would save me some time tomorrow because tomorrow's going to be hectic. <laughs> so this skirt I already had, but I got this petticoat on Amazon to go with it. <laughs> it just poofs it out. So I'll be wearing that. I can barely make it through doorways with that thing on, but you know. And then for the shirt, I got this off Amazon. It has the square neckline and the ruffled sleeves, so it kind of feels sort of 18th century France, or I don't know, I'm just trying to go poofy. Poofy dress look. And there's a crown, a sparkly, sparkly crown. Look at that. Is this just the adult version of a princess party? Maybe. <laughs> and I have some plates, some little fancy ones. I'm gonna have those set out on the table. I don't know if we're even gonna use them, but kind of just for decoration. Some of these can also be stuck to the wall, but if you have a small one inside a big one, it looks really cute. I have a couple, what are they called? They're like candle holders or stands. Oh yeah, there's three, three sizes candle stick. I guess it could just be called a candle No, is the stick referring to the wax or this part? I don't know. But these are something I could just use around the house in general. Like it's not something that I'd have to put away after, which is what I like about these. And I have one more thing. These are little cardboard cutout picture frames. So I could print off artwork to go in them, or I could sort of stick them to our cupboards, just as decoration as is. I mean, I might as well put pictures in them. If I didn't put pictures in them, it, it could be like photo props, hold it in front of your face or something. <laughs> and then the number 30 balloons, I guess. And that's everything. So yeah, maybe I'll go out right now and get those candles. Oh my God, the frozen part of my shirt is gonna show. I was like, oh, I'm sitting in my chair streaming. People only see like up to here. They're not gonna see <laughs> the frozen shirt. <laughs> okay, let's get the spy camera and go to the store. 
These are too foily, but look. I think I need a couple of these. Huh? What's up? What's all this? <laughs> now that's more like it. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Oh. I like. Now that is cute. Hmm. Somebody stop me. I have so much stuff already. <laughs> now I gotta get flowers. Um. Hmm. Mamma mia. Okay, it's 7.20. <laughs> Just got back. I also went to the grocery store because I thought if I'm going out, I might as well also get groceries so I don't have to do it tomorrow. It saves me some time tomorrow. So. Now I'm all sweaty from hauling this home. <laughs> so here's the dollar store haul. I have some flowers. I got two of each item. So we have these pink ones, these ones, some greens, that one in the peonies. And then we have this adhesive film, which I could use to decorate stuff. Maybe I can cut it with my Cricut. I don't know. <laughs> Might be giving myself too much work with these. <laughs> uh, this is not a decoration. This is for my back. I used to have a back rubber but when it got gross I just never bought a new one and I've been wanting this lately so saw one and got it then we have these pearl stickers which could also be used to spice things up a bit two of these mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you can't have a shot though without caramel squares I don't know and then there is this mirror here mirror here mirror here ma'am it's not for you Okay, we can have it a little bit. Do you like this? Oh, you yeah, nice. Oh, you yeah, nice. Oh, you look so pretty by the flowers. I was going to get flowers also for my hair, but I forgot. Although I could steal these or something. The other ones are too big. Imagine a little flower on a cake. <gasps> so cute. <laughs> first things first, I gotta put away all this pin stuff and also take down the fall decorations because they don't match. They're not gonna go with the decor. I think I might leave those leaves up, up there, the garland. That should be fine, but the rest has gotta go. The mirror either has to be leaning against something, like on a table maybe, or it has to go into an existing hook because I'm not gonna put a hole in the wall for this. This would actually look really good up on our freezer, but there's no way to attach it, really. Nowhere, no way secure, anyway, like right up here. I just took all the magnets off. Eh, eh, isn't that kinda cool? There's the pile of magnets, and those are just the ones that were on the front. <laughs> I have the side of the fridge, too. If I glued really strong magnets to it, it could stick to the front door, but I don't have any magnets like that. I think I could try putting it up here. Take down the helm and replace it with the mirror. It's gonna look really small up there though. <laughs> yeah, that's a no for me, dog. I'd rather put one of the uh, fake frames up there maybe, those cardboard cutout ones. Am I gonna keep these in clusters or break them apart? I mean, the green ones could be separated and then stuffed in where they look good. My cutters suck in some proper ones. <laughs> These ones have a cutter on the inner edge. These might actually be sharper. It's a dual tool. Ugh, I think they are a little sharper, yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to decide if I want them put in some kind of vase or container of sorts or just laying on the table but nicely like a little floof. I like the table idea, but then I'd have to separate out every piece, maybe. I don't know. Like here, I just got away with bending this. I could bend some of them the opposite way, maybe. <gasps> this is difficult. I think it's actually easier to wiggle and snap without the pliers. <laughs> like, I worked well for the thick ones. This, I think I only bought one of. I thought I grabbed two of everything, but I guess not. Or I lost one along the way. 
Yeah, this one might need to be trimmed too. I'm just shoving stuff in here. It's not done yet, but I've got a cup that <laughs> keeps it nice and low and floofy. Okay, how's that? Is this just gonna look like wedding decorations? <laughs> There's one, and I'm gonna make a second one. Oh, hey, you stay in there, sir. There's no foam in there, so they're just, you know, ready to fall out. <laughs> Now I'm thinking I should take the garland down because it does not match the flowers. Oh my god. <laughs> I doubt we'll have the lights off like that. But man, that looked good. This kind of looks like a wedding table, but you know, it's not so bad. I have the little caramel candies in teacups on doilies. I put the bell here, a couple gold apples and there are a couple necklaces in there that one doesn't really match but it's the rose like the enchanted rose so it's kind of cute uh, yeah this is sort of the fancy table oh this is not supposed to be here by the way <laughs> so if we play a board game or something i would like if we did it over at this table so i'm trying to think of how to spruce it up while also leaving it open so we could use it i mean first of all we have these fancy coasters but also, I'm gonna take this gold stuff that I got at the dollar store. I cut it into strips already and I'm gonna stick it to the borders of the table. And hopefully that looks okay. Honestly, if I had just gotten gold washi tape, that would have made this easier probably. Oh my God, this is huge paper. Here's a regular sheet of paper for reference, like. <laughs> Remember all this big paper I got from Daiso and never used? Well, I'm using the thick fancy paper. I think there are only, oh, well, there's 10 sheets. I'm using three of them to print jumbo artwork for the frames. It's tempting to print extras to decorate some more. Let me show you what I have so far. Okay, there's crap everywhere that I have to pick up and like dishes to wash and stuff, but the cupboards look stupid because I don't have enough plates. I'm tempted to take some more off the table, but at the same time I don't want to, so I'm trying to think of what I could use to fill the gaps that won't look too, like I don't want to look too decoration-y, like I don't know where I'm going to put this frame yet, and yes, it's 11.30. <laughs> I ended up putting the mirror here. I have to give it a wipe down, but originally I hung it over there where the calendar is because there is a nail there but it was just too out of the way like it's too nice to have it tucked away over there and i'll probably have one picture on the fridge i don't know if it would be this one it'd probably be the more ornate one to be honest if i do just one because i was thinking i could do one here one here but is that too dumb if they're both the rectangle ones is that dumb but i really love the look of the oval one over here i don't know kitties up there crinkles way over there above the fireplace i added some doilies over here just because the plates felt so big compared to these little cups. It was a little bit awkward. So put those there to make it look a little bit better. Oh, and I put these gold leaves in there too because I had these. So it makes it look a little ritzier. Look at that. Yeah, there's a mess over here. Uh, here's this. There's not too much just because I know we're going to move stuff. Uh oh, I might need a glue stick. This stuff is very low tack, which is good because it'll be easy to remove, but it doesn't like sticking to itself. So wherever it overlaps with itself, it's revolting. And then on the chairs, I also put gold strips. They're not even super noticeable, so I don't know if that was a waste of my time, but I did them front and back. So they're very shiny. Yeah, yeah I don't know. I think I maybe would have been better off if I used the Cricut to cut like a, a flower pattern or something and stuck it on the top. This is just a bit, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it's staying on. But yeah, I'll tidy this up and make it look neater. Um, it's a work in progress, still a work in progress. Still trying to figure it out. Oh my God, look at this beast. This is by Hans Zatzka. I had to print off a Hans Zatzka piece. Like I just had to. That's the, He's the artist I referenced for this little bit here. So I had to do it. This actually feels pretty nice. Yeah. Oh. Now this frame is a bit wide. The paper's not quite as wide as the frame. So we'll have to figure out which one goes in the oval. I feel like this one could work well. It 
depends though if I want to pop a red. One of the ones I'm printing off is a Queen Victoria one and it's a lot of red. Might look good there on the door. Give it some color. <laughs> it's gonna heavily crop it. <laughs> I'll probably wait till they're all printed before I make a final decision, but... <laughs> and of course I have to print out the swing. <laughs> yeah, I got it. This one can't go in the oval because we'll lose this guy. So that's going to go in the ornate one. Oh uh, yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. So for this one, I had to trim the corners so they wouldn't show, but I taped the corners here to cover the gap, but there's still gonna be a white line. So I'm just gonna take my Copic markers and try to blend it in a little bit, just roughly. I could have cut that off, but I'd rather try to blend it with a marker instead of just relying on the extra cut piece. Kind of ended up with a weird shadow edge where the marker overlapped with the painting, but good enough. I don't know why I'm putting in this much effort when only a handful of people are going to experience it, but I guess you guys are experiencing it through the video. And I'm honestly just having tons of fun with this. I've been looking forward to this for like two weeks. Just the decorating. That's what I was so excited for. <laughs> it's my little treat to myself. And an excuse to buy some cute stuff. So I can kinda snapped. I kinda... <laughs> um... <laughs> yeah. My printer was really working overtime tonight. I even printed off little pictures to put in the plates. Like, look at it. They look like frames. Oh, so good. Oh, and I have to show you this one that I really like. Well, first of all, you might recognize this. <laughs> it's the one that's on my door. And over here, we have a special little something. <laughs> the botched restoration of the Jesus painting. And this one up here is actually another botched one, but that's what it looked like before it was botched. So, yeah. That is how it's all looking. <laughs> There's even one over here on the blinds. It's a little excessive, but I just wanted to do it. And it's now 1 a.m., so I should probably go to bed. Okay, I'm not quite in bed yet. <laughs> I've been cleaning out the cat fountain. I just did it recently, but I noticed the filter was getting moldy, which is odd because that filter's only been in there for like two weeks. And I did see something online recently about opening up your the pump and I never knew you could open it up before and oh my god there was so much mold in there there was this massive chunk and the inside was just all slimy so pro tip if you have a cat fountain you need to be opening up the pump when you clean it this top piece comes off so you just grab it and yeah that'll come off and then you also need to pop off this ring like that so you know, make sure you're cleaning all up in there because it hides mold. There was just a huge amount of it trapped behind this. This has to sit and dry overnight because I accidentally got a bit of water in here. So just gonna let that sit. They've got a bowl of water down there. Plus they have, they have backup water in the basement. But okay, it's 1.30, I'm going to bed now. All right, it is the next day. On October 3rd, he asked me what day it was. It's Bailey's birthday. Yeah, these dishes are drying, they need to be put away. And there's more snacks that have to go out. Like I have a bunch of veggies chopped up and I have some dip to go with that. But, yeah, the candles aren't on yet either. But I just cleaned the floors, the place is looking good. And it's four o'clock, I gotta hurry up and get ready because people might be showing up soon. So, uh-huh, uh-huh. And there it is, and I haven't opened my presents yet. There's one more still coming, Christian said, but those two are there and waiting.
so it's now Monday morning and I thought I would finish off the vlog. The birthday was great. I had a lot of fun. I spent most of yesterday sleeping. <laughs> and now it's time to get back to business. Let's do the catch him calendar first though. <laughs> I eat tape and plastic bags and puke them up. I also terrorize my feline sibling. It's an evil picture. I'm a butt licker. Well, they're supposed to be. Poor baby. I'm being shamed over something they're supposed to do. It's better than them having poopy butts. I'm not going to flip over to Monday because today's going to have its own vlog. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Wish that I could stay. Wish for this moment to never go away. But it's all in my mind And though I know that there is nothing to find